morning, good morning, everybody. This is Josh coming to you again with another video. Uh, I hope everybody is doing well. Today is December 15th. We are halfway through the month. And uh, yeah, this month has been really slow for me, unfortunately. Um, I kind of stopped uh, doing any ads. I just waited uh, because, uh, well, I was buying my second trailer and then, and then I decided to buy the truck. Um, so I just kind of was unsure my truck had broken down and it's still down my my first truck or my You know the truck that I started with my 350 that one broke down and I'm still waiting it for it to uh, be fixed I did get the part in just yesterday. So hopefully the mechanic comes in today and replaces that part for me A um, couple things I got going on today. I woke up a little early. Uh, I got my stuff done this morning um, And I am on the way to the shop uh, I've got to take this truck into the dealership because uh, they're going to install today my side steps and uh, they're going to do my bed liner. Which I don't know if you can see back there, but uh, no bed liner. So uh, they're going to give me a, uh, they're going to swap me out a temporary truck. I don't know what they're going to give me, but it'll be kind of interesting. Hopefully they give me, you know, something similar or bigger. I'll take a, I'll take a 350 or 3500. Um, but yeah. So I kind of uh, am practicing what I preached. Uh, last night I decided I, I needed to start running some ads again. I know it's right around Christmas time. I don't know if this is a typical slow season. From what I hear from other people, some people are slow, some people are slammed. So it just kind of depends on your market and your advertising, right? So um, I, yeah, I ran two ads, I ran three ads last night. I ran an ad for uh, dumpster rentals. I ran it on Craigslist. I ran another ad for uh, junk removal and then I ran a third ad for uh, mobile home and shed demolition I think uh, I really want to get into that a little bit I think that is a fairly good untapped market not many people are doing that in my market and I know the prices are pretty high uh, they pay well uh, so yeah you'd have to rent a um, like a little mini bulldozer a little mini excavator um, and then that's all I know so far. So I guess I'll learn the new one. I mean, I guess I'll learn it with you guys on my first one. If I ever, if I get one, um, but, uh, it shouldn't be too difficult. If it's a small shed, you can just do it by hand. If it's a, uh, an actual mobile home, then yeah, I think we have to, uh, piece it all up and, and, and do multiple trips probably to the dump. And then I believe I said, I'm not sure, but I did run an ad for rock delivery, mulch delivery, and dirt delivery. Um, I think my pricing structure, as long as it's in the county that I'm in, is going to remain at about $40 a yard. Uh, I could do about five yards at a time. So it'll cost me a little, uh, it'll cost the customer a little over $200, which will leave me about $50, $150 worth of profit. Um, and in the county if it's in the county it probably take me an hour of my time so um, it's not it's not bad at all uh, if I can get some deliveries of those so we'll see what we got coming up uh, I will keep you guys updated as far as any new jobs I still have one dump trailer staged at the office and one that's empty I don't really want to take the new truck to the dump I'll be honest with you um, so I don't know I, you know this truck was for work but I, I kind of like it too much so We'll see. Um, I know I'll eventually I'll take it there once the newness wears off. But in the meantime, if my truck gets fixed and it's available and it's sitting there, I'll probably just take my old truck um, to the dump. So plus I got to take it. I got to take this one a day that's slow because I have to weigh in since it's a new truck and I have to weigh out again, which takes forever. So. Um, so, yeah, that's about my day, guys. I will. I uh, will keep y'all informed hey guys don't forget uh in the meantime make sure you hit that like and subscribe button i am going to be doing a 60 second answer going forward every video i'm going to um as long as you respond within the first 60 minutes of me posting this video i will pick one of the questions in the comment section of this video and i will answer it uh for you guys in my next video so um, make sure you like, you hit that subscribe button, and you hit the little notification bell so that when I post a new video, 
um, you can watch it ask a question in the comment section below make sure you post 60 second question on, on the post and then ask your question so 60 second question and then your question after that and I will pick one of those questions out of my comments and I will address that myself uh, in the next video so do that below guys do it now and uh, yeah we'll see where this video takes us guys we are here at the dump uh, first time in the new truck uh, and this truck and trailer combo so I've got to weigh in uh, as always and then I'm gonna have to weigh back out again uh, to get my uh, empty weight um, but of course you know here we are waiting forever uh, there was hardly a line and uh, yeah here we are waiting so far 30 minutes and there was only two people in front of me so uh, but yeah, first truck and trailer, and then after this, we're gonna head to the office and pick up another trailer, and then, um, and then I've got a junk removal job that we're gonna be doing. Uh, my first uh, junk removal decided to advertise a little bit on that, and I've got a two hundred dollar junk removal job to do. Um, so we will see uh, how that goes. Hopefully, it'll be quick, and uh, and then we'll come back to the junkyard or to the dump again and dumped that second trailer out because it's staged right now at the office. It's almost full. Um, so we'll see uh, how long this takes and we'll see what my empty weight is or my full weight and empty weight is gonna be after I finally get on the scale here. So we'll see in a little bit. truck and trailer on this one with a small the three foot walls a smaller trailer is 11,680 pounds um, that last load there was 3,800 pounds of, uh, of junk in there almost two tons and I was charged $68 uh, for uh, that load so not too bad um, truck called it just fine uh, we pulled it great no issues whatsoever so right now we're already uh, on the way to the junk removal job and then uh, possibly uh, to take out the other trailer uh, the other dump trailer to the, to the junkyard so 
to the landfill. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. So we'll show you when we get to the uh, junk removal job. Alright everybody, so um, so I finished with my first junk removal, uh, funny thing is it was actually uh, a customer who has seen uh, some of my YouTube videos, so uh, buddy if you're watching this I appreciate the business, um, That's that was kind of cool to uh, actually have somebody tell me they saw saw my YouTube videos and, uh, and called me because of that, so um, not sure if he knows it was my first junk removal but we got in there and it was a bunch of cardboard boxes and some styrofoam and stuff um so uh, a couple hundred bucks and i was going to take it over to the normal landfill but i decided to take it over to uh to the waxahachie landfill because i was closer and uh yeah they they took it in real quick they let me they let me dump it there 15 bucks i was in and out in 15 minutes so uh pretty easy work um and uh a decent little profit i mean it it did take a take a from start to finish it was probably a good hour and a half two hours round trip so uh that's done and over with uh, i went to the office did some office work and now i'm on my way to pick up some rock uh in the meantime i also got a rental for tonight they wanted it anytime late tonight if possible so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick up this rock i have a five o'clock delivery in forreston which is uh, a little farther south than i'd like it to be but it's 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 paying, you know, a profit about 200 bucks. So, um, so yeah, just uh, pick up the rock, deliver it, and then I will deliver the trailer, the dump trailer for a one-day rental in Cedar Hill. So there's my day, uh, pretty pretty good day. Um, yeah, junk removal was pretty good. Um, you know, it just kind of depends on how much room you've had. You have that cardboard did fill up probably good. Uh, half of my trailer if not a little bit more than that um, So it would have been worth it if I didn't go to Waxahachie if I would have gone and still paid uh, To just to dump that out at the normal landfill It would have been a minimum of like 38 bucks 36 dollars something like that and, um, and And the time to wait there would have been horrible, but uh, I was in and out in Waxahachie in 15 minutes So uh, made it much more worth it for my time so, yeah, we'll keep doing it. We'll keep advertising some junk removal. Um, I didn't get any chance to do any video while I was doing the um, the removal, but the customer helped me out, and then my dad was there, so we, we got it all knocked out pretty quick. Um, I think I spent more time putting the tarp on than, than I, we probably took loading the trailer up. But uh, something I need to really look into is, is getting that tarp installed, the tarp system installed. Guys, if you're not a member or in the group, our Facebook group, uh, we've got some awesome people in there. Um, that group is really starting to take off. A lot of people helping each other out. And uh, one of the guys, congratulations, uh, he bought himself a, his own uh, U.S. built dump trailer. So super excited to see him grow and uh, and make some money with that. So uh, he posted some pictures. Uh, but yeah, if you're not in that Facebook group, it's going to be in the links below. Um, join the Facebook group. It's free. I'm not trying to sell anybody anything. It just helps us all out trying to... Um, learn the industry and learn uh from each other so um make sure you join that group also don't forget there's also other links i've got some amazon affiliate links down below of numerous items that i use throughout the day or throughout uh, this business um as far as uh essential equipment um i also have the tracky gps device that uh i have installed in this trailer right here so uh if you are interested in any of the things that I use from the stickers that I use to warn people that the, the trailer has GPS on it to the GPS devices itself to gloves work boots 
bungee cords, bungee balls that I use. It's all in the description below. Make sure you, uh, um, you know, support support this channel by um, by shopping for some of the items that uh, we sell. I also have uh, the docket software that I use. I have a referral link below as well. Uh, if you're interested in using that software, you get a free trial. And by using the link and uh, the referral link that I have in the description below, you will get an extra two weeks trial for free. So uh, I do get a $25 referral uh, credit for anybody who uses the system more than 30 days. So full disclosure. But uh, but yeah, I'm about ready to go ahead and hit this load of uh, rock up here. Um, I charge $250 for a delivery of five tons. Uh, and it's going to take me probably about an hour of my time. Hopefully as long as the uh, rock quarry isn't too, uh, too full. So uh, taking you with me and we will see you when we get there. Alright, so I'm here at the rock quarry. There's a long line to get out. So we will see. I'm following the, this bulldozer to get the three inch rock that the customer wants. can't get you a good video they have a sign here that says um they have a sign at entry no no cameras no video no picture taking so uh i can only do it from in here but he's about to uh he's scooping it up here i can see him scooping it up i gotta figure out which way i go Feels good though, especially in this truck. I'm happy. So apparently, uh, this is a three-inch rock. Over here is the flex base. Uh, it's like an inch and a half. So I had to call them because I didn't want to wait in line to get my empty weight and then wait again. So I asked them if my empty weight from um, my empty weight from the landfill would work. My my tear, uh, which is eleven thousand six hundred pounds, uh, six hundred eighty pounds empty. Uh, he said yeah. So I didn't have to wait in line to then weigh out again. So that's that's a good thing. Um, didn't think it'd be this long. Last time I was here, I, there was hardly anybody here, but today it's it's pretty full. Let's get out and see if I can show you what it looks like. It's definitely three inch rock. So because of the way the truck squats when I have a load, I ordered some Timbrin suspension enhancement. Uh, it's called a sus Timbrin suspension enhance enhancement system. I'll try to say that three times fast. Um, so they're basically it just it just replaces the. Um, I guess it's like a rubber stopper from the factory uh, for uh, so that your suspension when it goes down uh, on with weight or when it hits a big bump, um, which causes you to, your truck to sag. Plus, uh, they say it gives you more stability, um, less swag uh, or swaying because the um, there's nothing that changes the suspension. All it does is it, it's a hard rubberized ball that stops it from going too, um, too far down. So that comes out on Monday. It seems like it's a pretty easy install, 15, 20 minutes probably per side at the most. Um, so when it comes in, I will do everything. All right, everybody, we are finally next in line. Been here about, um, probably about 45 minutes. Not too bad, line was about 40 minutes. 
Um, I was able to pick up the rock pretty quick. Uh, it's just waiting in line to, to weigh out. Is what is taking a long time. So next in line. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how much I weigh. And I did it, tell the guy I wanted five tons. So we'll see uh, how close he was with a bucket of three-inch rock. Can you give me an no, uh, I called the number before here. I called here, and they told me I could give you this number or this. This is my empty weight over at the, the city dump. My, my tear ticket. Mm. 11,000, yeah. 680. All right, so she charged me $53.70. Shows that I have 9,020 pounds of rock. So 9,020 pounds, just a little over 9,000 pounds of the three inch rock comes out. It's like $11 uh, a ton. Let's see exactly what it is. 11. Yeah, $11 a ton plus tax. Not bad, off we go.